Yeah, send reinforcements over here, I don't care. Because I'm gonna change areas and now, hopefully, possibly, maybe, not get spotted. That would be fantastic. Let's get the map first. Just because having the map is a, a great way to know where guards are. And yeah, in this game you will eventually get found. It's, it's, you know, guards are stupid, but they're not that stupid. God damn it! And they're gonna—they they see you, by the way, by the way, from up there as well. I hit his, his. Okay, whatever. Only have four left. That is incredibly annoying. Let's hide here for a second. Or under here. Come on, man! Go to sleep. Doesn't matter. Going this way then. There is a bomb here. God damn it. Someone saw me. Oh my god, this is gonna be annoying. I have to put both these guys to sleep. That's why I say putting everyone to sleep is the key. There you go. There's the other guard over there as well. I need I need ammo as well. <laughs> Pick up the damn guard! Thank you, Jesus. Some bullets, thank you. That was great. Okay. It was running out. You can always toss the guards off the rail there as well. Now, I know there is a bomb over here. The other one I don't quite remember. Yeah, it, one is over here, even though I don't have the... the sensor equipped. But I'm going to take care of this one, because this is where the other guy likes to patrol. There we go. One taken care of, and then there's another one. Ah, okay, it's in the, the upper level, that's why I couldn't find it earlier. I see, I see. Uh, um, where exactly is it? No, this, thank you. Thank you. Alright, and now the other bomb should be somewhere... Well, it is somewhere, definitely. Oh, I see where it is. I see where it is. It is inside one of these things, just not the one that I thought it was. Hmm. Nothing was wrong. Oh my god, they saw me. God damn. That's why I hate this strut. This is like the worst strut ever. Because there's no room to hide. Nowhere. Ever. Nothing was wrong. Now they're gonna go away, and I'm going to shoot them. Huh? Shot them in the radio, which is terrible. Right? Okay. Both asleep again, and now I can take care of the bomb, which is right here. I would like to, like, fucking the camera. Thank camera. Oh my God, where the hell? Is it? It's over here. Uh, open this. Thank you. Jesus. Uh, now the coolant, and I think this is the last bomb. I could be wrong. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4, and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those sinless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, Raiden. I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. Okay. I'll stand by until you radio in. Alright, so we have to go to the pantry, where this guy was hiding before, and get the sensor that will tell us where the scentless whatever thingy bomb is for us to take care of. 
this game just reminded me of something. Like the fir when I bought this game for the first time, I brought it home, and it was uh, it was a Friday night, I think. I decided that I was going to uh, pull an all-nighter and beat the game, and I tried to. I tried to very hard, but I couldn't. <laughs> I fell asleep eventually, but it was it was pretty awesome. It was a great experience. It's one, it's, it's one of those memories that you know stick with you, even though I just remember that right now and not before when I started playing this. But yeah, that's good. N this nostalgia. I love nostalgia. Nostalgia makes me feel all warm inside. Sort of like uh, having a little a cup of tea on a cold afternoon. Oh wait, so okay, so we're going to the pantry. I was <laughs> I was about to continue on with the mission because I know, I know what we we have to do next. Where's the guard that was right here? I'm sort of scared of, of uh, where the guard is. I don't think he's here, but eh, whatever. I don't know where they went. Peter, I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live. Which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! Damn! That was it! What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down! What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right. The one in shell one should be counting down too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 300 seconds. 300 seconds? Right. Move! Get to the bottom of strut A now! Okay, so because we were playing on hard, we have 300 seconds to reach the bottom of strut A. If we were playing on normal, I think you'd have 400. Maybe more even if you were playing on easy or very easy. But two, 300 seconds is more than enough time to get there. You need like 100 seconds to get there. It's really not that hard. Uh, okay. Uh, God damn it, thank you. <laughs> Equip the damn thing. Alright, no guards over here. I don't think, yeah, this bridge is never manned. There's usually a cipher, though. So, yeah, now we have to get, take care of the scentless bomb, the very weird-looking bomb, and we don't have that indicator, that, that, uh, that, uh, cloud thing that appears on the radar. We can't rely on that for this. Uh, because... Uh, this right, there we go. Because... These bombs are different, and uh, they were the the baby ones, the ones we were taking care of before, were just uh, decoys. And once they were all taken care of, the other two would activate the other big ones that would actually take out the whole structure of the big shell. And I'm going to take this guy out. God damn it! I always miss this. It's like I'm doing this on purpose. Whoa! God damn it! He saw me. Oh my god! I'm not very. Ah. I'm gonna take some damage, but... If you don't let them finish the, the sentence, they will... Uh, they... Ah, God damn it! I hate his kicks! This guy's kicks are terrible. Like, if you hit... Thank you. Thank you, that was good. Okay, finally, Jesus. Okay, let's make our way over here before the guards come and investigate that, because that was terrible. I thought they wouldn't see me, but they did. That's cool, though. You see, like, we still have 200 seconds, and we're, we're almost there. Let's use a ration here, even though I should be conserving my rations. I think there's a ration nearby as well. Let's put this guy to sleep. Get some ammo, because I know there's ammo under here. I don't want to run out eventually, okay. Get up. I think there's a ration over here. I could be wrong, though. Uh, nope, how about this one? Nope, no ration. God damn it, okay. <laughs> I guess there is no ration over here. So let's exit 
up there and then make our way up to the bottom of strut A, where said bomb is. No need to worry though, I know exactly where the bomb is. It's always in the same spot. Even on the higher or lower difficulties, it's always in the same spot. Right. Listen. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave With a seven-foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there! There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Pliskin, get away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. Another sad day. The black guy always dies. Usually first. Before everyone else. He was a good guy, Peter Stillman. Even though he was virtual, he wasn't real. Okay, let's pick up any rations that we might have over here. So come bullets. Yeah, okay, sure, fine. Whatever. The rations are more important because of uh, something that's coming up later. Spoilers, spoilers. Nothing big, though, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, okay, so the bomb. The bomb is over here. If you do this, the, the bomb is where basically where the shaver was in the very beginning. But it is closer to here. It is under this hanging submarine. You need to equip the coolant and duck. And the bomb is right there. Actually, you don't need to duck. I thought the bomb was under the sub, but it's, you know, on the side, sort of. I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed. And the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high, but the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? Rescue the president. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. Okay, so the threat of the bomb is over. Now we can get back to the mission. I, though, want to get a ration that's over here on this side before proceeding. Uh, you know, we're running low, we might need it. Also, I don't know if you noticed that or if you can hear it on YouTube, but the sea lice, the, the very large group of sea lice, you know, there's more than one, more than one group of sea lice, but they make a lot of noise. When was the last time you heard insects make a lot of noise? I mean, you know, ignoring, you know, uh, cicadas and other sort assortment of, uh, of insects. Also, like, my my worst favorite episode of MacGyver is when he took care of a group of, uh, of ants. And the ants actually screeched as they died. Right. The terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? A hostage has been killed. Shot in the head. They shot one of them on the roof, just to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the president. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt. They're all in danger. Jack, be reasonable. I know what you're feeling, but you can't save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? Well, looks like he's turned his radio off too. I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? 
They haven't even gotten to planning that. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Right. Go and rescue the President. You can start off by getting to the upper level of Strut A.